going on? I'm Allison, and for this workout, we're doing a full body strength routine. But before we begin, make sure to tap that subscribe button and tap the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos. This is a no repeat workout, which means we're gonna do 12 exercises only one time. All you need is a moderate and heavy pair of dumbbells, as well as a medium strength fabric loop band. If you don't have a band, that's okay. You can definitely do this without it. This workout also includes a warm up and cool down. So grab your equipment and some water and let's get started. Let's warm it up. For that first warm up exercise, we're gonna do a big march in place, keep the abs tight and the spine long. And with this, we're gonna do small circles forward. Halfway through time, we'll keep the same march and then we'll do those arms backwards instead. If you're feeling good, feel free to make those arms a bigger circle. Okay, get ready. We're starting at 10, so let's start with a big march. Abs are tight, drive the knees up to the chest. When you're ready, arms are extended. In three, two, one, here we go. Switch directions. Warm up, we're gonna do hip opener squats. Starting with the feet together, we're gonna to open up the hip, sink low for the squat, step together, repeat other side. If you need a little bit longer warm up, shorten that range of motion for the squat. All right, get ready. In four, three, two, let's do it. We're gonna do some front to back kicks. Finding a side wall or some support, one leg at a time. All we're gonna do is kick forward, kick back. Squeeze in the glutes and warming up the hips. All right, get ready. We're starting in three, two, one. Here we go. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that I'm just a bad girl, but if you treat me right, I will be the best girl in this whole world. No, I'm not gonna fight. I got my hands on your body, so tell me, tell me what you want. And to do. stop. Walk it out, turn and face the other direction. Keep this march until we begin the other side. Deep breath in and out. Hopefully, heart rate's gradually coming up. You got it. Find your support, place your hand down, facing his bed. In three, two, one, let's go. Windmill. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart, arms extended like a star. Keeping the core tight, reach towards that opposite foot. Bring it up, repeat other side. Keep it those knees soft. Okay, get ready. In five, four, three, two, let's do it. Stop. Grab a drink. We're ready to work out. Like I do. Like I do. For your first exercise,
exercise, we're combining a squat to overhead Arnold press. Take your fabric band and place it around your legs on the lower part of your thighs, but not in your knees. And also grab your heavier set of dumbbells. We're gonna start with those feet shoulders apart, palms facing in, abs are tight, spine is long. Inhale, sink back for the squat, and then exhale, rotate, palms face away on that extension. Inhale down, exhale up. If you need to modify this, shorten the range of motion, do alternating arms instead. we're doing alternating reverse lunges with side raises. I went ahead and grabbed the lighter pair of dumbbells. Now from here, start with your feet together, palms facing in, elbows bent. Standing tall, we're gonna alternate reverse lunge, bring the arms up to the side, bring it down, repeat other way. If you need to modify this, do alternating arms and you can shorten the range of motion. a Romanian deadlift, low row, to a standing upright row. Grab your heavier set of dumbbells. Now starting with those feet together, soft bend in the knees, palms and shoulders back. We're going to inhale, hinge forward, back is flat, perform your row, come up, elbows high, do your upright. Inhale down, row, and then come right back up for that upright row. with the band. We're gonna give our upper body a break and just focus on lower body. So having the band, just like we did earlier, just above the knees and the lower part of the thighs, we're going to step touch side to side. Now if you have room, you're welcome to do double step touches instead. Clearer 
guys, we're doing a set of spider lunges with hammer bicep curls. Now grabbing the heavier or your lighter weights, depending how you feel, give yourself a little bit of room behind. We're going to step back, that cross back lunge, perform the hammer curl, step together, and then other side, making it a smooth transition throughout. grab your lighter pair of dumbbells. We're doing a standing overhead fly to a chest fly. So with this move, it's all upper body. Set those feet shoulder the apart, soft knees, abs tight, back straight. We're gonna have those palms facing in, perform your chest fly, open up, palms face the ceiling, fly overhead, bring it down. Exhale, inhale. Size, grab one heavier dumbbell. We're combining a plie squat with an overhead tricep extension. Now to get in a plie squat position, have those feet a little wider than the shoulder width apart, toes are flaring out. Hold your dumbbell vertically and then bring it up overhead, keeping the elbows tight to the side. We're gonna drop the hips down while extending the arms and then press the heels come back up to stand. Exhale, inhale. you've been through, why you got scars Since you walked through the door, I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before in a movie line We can ride our own end in this time time with outer thigh raises. The option is going to be to hold your moderate or your heavier dumbbell on top of that thigh for extra resistance. Now finding a spot where you can place your hands that's a steady surface, we're going to have a base leg knee bent, this outside leg's working, toe points down, and we're just going to lift up and down. And only me, how can I trust your personality? Seven
other side for outer thighs. Remember, the weight's gonna be optional, but if you did do it the first time, definitely do it this side as well. Find your steady surface, place that weight on the outer thigh, part of the thigh, soft bend in the base leg, and we're gonna lift up and down. What's the story behind? That sad tattoo you're trying to hide. I think I've heard it before in a movie line. We can write our own ending this time. I wanna say no, but I cannot lie. I am so curious about your life. But you're a stranger trying to hide. What I see is not you, don't deny. I wanna see the rest of you tonight. We're taking it down onto the ground. Picking off is bare plank glute presses. The option is going to be to place that fabric band around the lower part of your thighs. Go into a bare plank position with your hands shoulder apart, um, tuck those knees under, and then they're hovering right off the ground. Keep the abs in, drive one heel up to the ceiling, and then bring it back down. Repeat other side. Whoa! weighted hip bridges. The band can stay where it was earlier and then place your weights on top of your hip bones. Now from here, engage the core, look at the ceiling, inhale, exhale, press those hips up, squeeze in the glutes, and then lower down. Repeat. Position, elbows and toes. Now from here, you have your basic plank, core is tight, squeeze in the glutes. The option is going to be to alternate leg raise up and down.
exercise in this workout is gonna be a feel good bird dog. From here, no weights or bands, hands in shoulder width apart, little soft bend in those knees, abs are tight. We're gonna extend one arm, opposite leg, squeeze the glutes, place it down and go the other way. Focus on keeping the shoulders and hips steady. job with today's workout you did amazing if you're feeling really energetic feel free to rewind this video and get a second round in if you're ready to cool down stay with me here you're in that child's pose position deep breath inhale exhale through the mouth do it again inhale breathe through the nose and exhale out do that one more time inhale and then exhale Gently round that spine, back into a tabletop position. Hands shoulder width apart, little separation in the knees. Let's do a few cat-cows. Deep breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, push the floor away. Look between the knees, wiggle out those hips if you need to, do whatever feels good. And then center up, flat back gaze forward. Exhale, pull the belly button to spine, round. Inhale, flat back. You have two more. Exhale in. And then flat back. Excellent, one last time. Exhale. And then inhale. Good, relax that spine. From here, curl the toes under. Keep the core engaged. Go into that bear plank just to transition. Inhale, and then exhale. Drive those hips up for a downward facing dog. Now, since we are cooling down and stretching, you can add little heel lifts. You can keep it stationary, bend the knees as much as you need to. Relax the head. And then press both heels down. Go into a three-legged dog, one leg extends up. Inhale, exhale, go into a lizard. We're gonna step that foot to the outside of the mat. Drop the back knee down. Now from here, there's different things that you can do with the lizard to stretch up the hips. You can stay with this. You can open up the knee. You can press against the inner thigh, look over the shoulder, or you can even stay centered and go down to your forearms. Do whatever feels good for you. Keep breathing in and out. Feel free to hold these stretches longer than what we're doing in this video, up to 20, even 30 seconds. If you're with me, if you rotate it center up, wiggle this foot in, hands frame that front foot, and then inhale, reach those arms up, we're in a low lunge, and then exhale, pull the shoulders down away from the ears, your gaze is forward. Again, feeling through the hips. Inhale, and then exhale, cactus those arms, heart to ceiling, stretching out the chest and shoulders. Inhale, reach the arms back up, and then exhale, place those fingertips down, and then carefully walk it back, and gradually bring that front toe up, stretching out the hamstring, back of that leg. Bend this knee as much as you need to, depending on your flexibility. And then we're gonna carefully walk forward, bring the hands in to the inside part of that foot, wiggle it back out, go into a high plank, and then back to your down dog. From here, three-legged dog, other leg, inhale, exhale, go into your lizard. Drop the back knee, flatten that top of the uh, foot, and then you do what you did on the other side, or you can change it up. You can go on the forearms, you can add a rotation, do whatever feels good at the moment. Breathing, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose or mouth. 
do it again. And then when you're ready, center it up. Wiggle that foot in, hands frame the front foot, get into that low lunge position, watch your balance. And here we go, raise those arms up. And then exhale, pull it down away from the ears, shifting those hips forward, long fingertips. Inhale, and then exhale, cactus those arms, heart to ceiling. Reach those arms back up, and then bring them down, frame the front foot. Carefully walk those fingertips back, bringing up that front toe, feeling the hamstring stretch. Good. And then from here, walk it back out, bring your hands in the inside part of that foot, keep the back knee down, swing this leg around, and sink back for one last child's pose. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale out, and one last time. Inhale, breathe, and then exhale, let it out. And bring it all up. You're all done for today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to working out with you next time. Great job of completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.